Miami first down. This time they rush only three. Erickson has Carroll open for the first down. Now a running play and McGuire thrown for a loss. Busting through was the middle linebacker Lou Foster. On that counter play. They'll pick second down and 13. Again a three man rush. Erickson back to the line of scrimmage and Erickson throws caught Kevin Williams first down Miami at the the Aztecs have post pattern here Randall Hill number three blitz Erickson runs away from it man wide open McGuire couldn't hold it and they're facing another third and 15 from the 22 of San Diego State flag down and they're blowing the play dead watch the throw here here comes Kevin Williams who came all the way across the field and you see Marlon Andrews trailing him but finally they'll make the play on him on third and 20 to the end zone incomplete excellent coverage by Griffith on Wesley Carroll from 44 yards it's good. A 44-yarder for Carlos Huerta. He's now 10. Miami jumped off to a 7-0 lead. T.C. Wright thrown for a two-yard loss. McGuire too high, and it's intercepted. But with 5.17 left in the first half. McGuire, big hole. Defense on his heels. Second and one. McGuire, driven back. Third and two. Bootleg. Erickson, very close to a first down. It's on the ground for Craig Erickson. Now it's McGuire. Drives off the pile and scores. Kick taken by Keith Williams. He got leveled at the 18-yard line. A player with the Miami Dolphins. From the 18, first and 10, San Diego State. With 3.39 left in the first half. Patrick Rowe. First down and more. Out to the 33, a gain of 15. Patrick Rowe again, they got him isolated on Maurice Crum, number 49. Mouts remaining. Tommy Booker. Back up running back, the junior from Vista, California. It's a big drive, two minutes and 55 seconds left to go in the half. San Diego State needs to answer that last score. Right down the middle on the two deep coverage. Maybe Jimmy Ray, number 17. Again, they empty the backfield on second down. Rowe trying to spin away from the tackle and does, and he fights for the first down. Boy, Patrick Rowe's an outstanding receiver. He's got good hands, makes good moves after he makes the catch. He's got good size, 6'2", 195 pound junior. He was just named first team all whack by the league coaches and sports information directors. This is a school that has produced several outstanding wide receivers, including Haven Moses, Isaac Curtis, Webster Slaughter. This is Tommy Booker out near midfield. They'll mark him down just short of the 49-yard line. They've had some outstanding coaches here, too, led by Don Coriel. He was 104 wins, 19 losses, and two ties here at San Diego State. And the assistants that have been here, like a who's who of the pro football ranks, Joe Gibbs, Jim Hannafin, Rod Dauhauer, Tom Bass, who does the radio now for San Diego State, and many more. Ted Toner, former coach at, San, at uh, Southern California. Ernie Zampezi, the offensive coordinator of the Rams. And John Madden, another name you can add to the list. They've had some great ones. McGuire in the flat, caught by his roommate, Dennis Airy. He has the first down for the Aztecs. And they will stop the clock momentarily to move the chains. There are some of the gentlemen of whom we were just speaking. Coriel, Tolner, Gibbs, Madden, and Zampezi. 
and Mike mentioned the others, all have coached at San Diego State University. Well, one great thing when you have all these alumni in the NFL, you can go and talk to them, and that's what San Diego State did. Dave Lay, the offensive coordinator, went to see Joe Gibbs and put a lot of a one-back offense in because of his ability to get to Joe Gibbs. Joe wanted to help San Diego State. Hit as he threw, but it's still complete. Jimmy Ray with the catch near a first down at the 31-yard line. ESPN. McGuire throws it into the ground to stop the clock with a minute three left. And again, a four-man rush. The catch by Airy. Down to the 24. Seven-yard gain. Farms and Crum, the tacklers. One back there's Don Corio right there watching the ball game. There's a man who knows a lot about offense. On third, it's incomplete. Intended. On the count of three, go. Aztec, one, two, three. Dan McGuire had that last play open. He just overthrew one, two, three. Jimmy Ray. Andy Trakis, excellent from this distance. A 43-yarder. Plenty of distance. And right down the middle. A good it's a rivalry that will continue on for many years. Coach Luganville told us that these two schools have signed an agreement for 16 years to play each other. They played last year in Miami. And this game total yards right now. They're ahead. They've gained more yards. They're going on top right now. For to Randall Hill, and he's open. Marlon Andrews takes him out at the 23. Still not. And he's got time for a couple throws to the end zone and, uh, before he tries to settle for a field goal. Erickson, watch the end zone. Goes for Carroll, incomplete. Play to Hill, covered 56 yards. Erickson throws short. Had to throw under pressure. Erickson, incomplete. This is on the receiving end. These are whack, all whack officials. Al saying, I'll see you at the league meeting. <laughs> <laughs> well, moves them closer for the field goal. I, I still think they'd have had a field goal shot where they're at. It's just 10 yards closer. Makes it a 29-yard attempt. It is good. Line drive that went through for Carlos Huerta. Bill is still upset. I think his main complaint, in addition to the fact that it didn't look like interference, was that the flag was extremely late. Came in almost as an afterthought. Well, I think Al's figuring, hey, I'll get, one, I'll get something in the second half. But he, Al's got no complaint here. He, just, he was going to have a field goal kicked against him either way. This is a, a familiar scene for Coach Luganville. We'll show you videotape later on of the end of last week's game against UTEP when he and the head coach of the Miners, David Lee, had to be separated. Stay tuned for the Rayovac Halftime Report with Tim Brando after this.